Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will discuss epithelial cells in urine sediment. There are three major types of epithelial cells in urine. First one squamous epithelial cells second transitional or urocilia epithelial cells third is renal tubular epithelial cells these are the major types of epithelial cells how to differentiate between the three epithelial cells to differentiate between the three major types of epithelial cells you need to consider first the size and shape of the epithelial cells second size of nucleus to overall cell size three the location of nucleus this table will show us the characteristics of different types of epithelial cells here first type which is squamous epithelial cells the size is 40 to 60 micrometer. As we see here, these epithelial cells large and flat with abundance of cytoplasm. The boundary is irregular and the nucleus in the center and it is small. There is no clinical significance of presence of squamous epithelial cells. It is originating from skin surface or outer urethra. If it is increased in number, this indicate of contamination of urine specimen. This means the specimen collection is not appropriate. Squamous epithelial cells called clue cells it is the same epithelial cells but it is covered with bacteria as we see here this is epithelial cells and covered with many bacteria cells and this called clue cells and this indication of vaginal infection caused by gardenella vaginalis which cause vaginosis. So this abnormally found in urine. While this one is normally found in urine in limited number. If it is increased, this means contamination from skin or outer urethra. The second type is transitional epithelial cells or urocilial cells. There are many forms of transitional epithelial cells. It is smaller than squamous epithelial cells. There are spherical or polyhydral or codate forms. If we see here, this the codate forms. As you see, there is characteristic tail and nucleus here in the center and these transitional cells originate from bladder ureters and renal pelvis and the increased number may be seen in urinary tract infection or bladder carcinoma also it is increased following casterization or examination of the lower 
urinary tract. The other form is spherical form. So we have caudate form and spherical form. This is the transitional epithelial cells in spherical form. The third type, which is important and not normally seen in urine sediment, is the renal tubular epithelial cells. If you see renal tubular epithelial cells, this means there is a problem in tubules or renal function. Renal tubular epithelial cells distinguished by eccentrically placed nucleus. The nucleus is not in the center and the cell may be round, oval or columnar or cuboidal. And the presence of renal tubular epithelial cells is clinically significant. May absorb fats or lipids and convert it into oval fat bodies. So oval fat bodies are renal tubular epithelial cells absorbed lipids in the urinary filtrate and the identification of oval fat bodies can be confirmed by polarized microscopy and lipid state. As we mentioned before, Sudan 3 tubular epithelial cells, this form is rounded. Nucleus, you will find it here, side. The increased number, this means renal tubular necrosis or decreased kidney function. The second form, which is columnar, you will find the nucleus eccentric presence of this one is the same either tubular necrosis or kidney function problem when the renal tubular epithelial cells absorb fat from urinary filtrate it is converted to oval fat bodies this one can be confirmed by polarized microscope and lipid stain as we see here this with polarized microscope and show here Maltese cross as we see this cross oval body showing Maltese cross using polarized microscope presence of oval fat bodies indicate extreme glomerular damage and renal tubular cell death can be confirmed as we mentioned with lipid stain such as Sudan 3 or oil red or using polarized microscope using mic uh, polarized microscope will show Maltese cross this means presence of cholesterol Next video, we'll discuss the red blood cells in the urine sediment. Share, follow, and subscribe to get the new videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.